I still tell people that if I die when I die, God, if, he, if there is any God, if He comes and asks you, hey, I want to send you back to earth, mm. what do you want to be? Mm. I'll tell him I'll be, I want to be a doctor mm. and I have to be officer of Wonderful. It's amazing how stories can change our perspective, the way we think, act and feel. We also know the range of emotions these stories can evoke. Feelings of joy, sadness, pride, nostalgia and much more. Most people think elders tell stories because they've forgotten that they've already told them. But that's not entirely true. Older people are seeking a reconciliation of their own identity. And when they tell a story, there's an important message embedded in that story for all of us to gain from. It's their experience for so many years that if we listen to their stories, we can learn a lot from those stories. Hi, I'm VC Pramod and welcome to my series Treasure Stories. And today I have the pleasure, absolute pleasure to have on my show Dr. Kamakya Prasad Chakravarti. So thank you again so much, Uncle, for coming for my show. Thank you very much. It's my privilege to be with you this evening. I wanted to listen to your story, Uncle. Where were you born and how were you bringing up years? I was, I have no story, you see. I am a, just as simple as anybody else. I was born in in Assam, a place called Goripur, in um, 1927, 5th May. So you're a Torian? Huh? You're a Torian? Uh, I don't know what word. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and um, then my father uh, went to a place for business. He used to do business, especially uh, with Jutes. Okay. We grew up there. Well, I started in a primary school and then I joined a uh, high school um, called in Abhayapuri. It was about four miles from my uh, home. Village. Okay. Uh, we had to go on foot. What about your career, Uncle? Tell me about your, your uh, after you finished your schooling, then what was your first job? Um, first job is uh, join the government servant. Service because at that time there were doctor, doctors and the government was expanding their all departments. So I was um, actually I was forced to join service by the chief minister, the then chief minister. Uh, he, he opened a, a TB hospital in Dhubri. Okay. What was called, the chief minister's name? Pistu Amedi. Okay. So, so he. he he said, somebody said, sir, you have opened the hospital, but where is the doctor? So he said, then somebody said, there is a doctor here from Bhumri. Um, he is a son of such and such. They said my father's name. My father was at that time very famous uh -huh. in the Congress, okay. uh, social work. Uh, so, so Chief Minister called him. So okay. I was called in. Yeah. Uh, we used to know him because he used to come to our place right. whenever right. in tour. So so I said yes. Uh, we were joining that uh, Tuesday okay. from tomorrow. Oh my God. The director of service was there. Ah. He told the director, doctor, you give him a this thing, temporary job sheet. Okay. Uh, he wrote immediately and appointed as the assistant surgeon uh, to this hospital. Assistant surgeon. Uh, ah. From the time of your journey. Okay. So I joined there. Yeah. So One from that. Which, which year was this, Uncle? Which that year? was 1954. 54. Okay. I graduated in 1952. Right. So. Uncle, uh, I believe you have even met uh, Mahatma Gandhi and. Yeah, yeah, Samarana. yeah. I, Tell I, us about that. Um, when was that? Uh, that was, I think, in 19, 
48 January or something. Ha, ha, ha. You see, Mahatma Gandhi came. Uh, so we naturally college students, yeah. uh, volunteers. Yeah. And I was very fortunate mm. to be assigned duty mm. to take people to a place ha. where Mahatma Gandhi used to. Wow, Mm. Sit in the sun, it was January. Yeah, yeah. Sit in the sun, have his little bit of sneak snacks, yeah. and then he, he used to take bath there in his. Where was, uh, this, like, wall, was huh? this in Assam or in Assam? Guwahati. 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 Not 40, sorry. Uh. Not 40, 46. Ah, that's 46. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 46. Before independence. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before independence, right, yes. Right, right. Uh, because I passed my. In intermediate science before independence, correct, correct, and correct. joined medical college just after independence. Okay, okay. So independence 15 August. Yeah. We joined in 3rd November. And so interesting. Huh? Uh, so so he was there for three days, I think. Mm -hmm. And then my duty was from morning. Mm -hmm. People used to he was in a hillock. Okay. Just put in a hillock. Uh -huh. So. People used to come uh, to have darshan, and uh, uh, my job was not only me, uh, we were about six or seven. Uh, we would take them there, ah. show them, and then okay. uh, next like that. Okay. As, uh, we used to do the day whole day. So we used to go about that. So, so you spent a lot of time with Mahatma Gandhi? Uh, not, 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 not with Mahatma Gandhi. Ah. Uh, we used to, we were near Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> uh, I had no business to go and meet him. Right, right. right. <laughs> Tell us about your uh, your gynecology uh, achievements. It was very interesting. I was intent on doing eye. Okay. But the principal, he said, he'll put you according to your result. So the your? first, according to your result. Uh, result. Ah. So. The first two will get surgery, second, third, third and fourth will get um, medicine, ah. and uh, third, fourth will no, fourth, fifth, sixth will get okay, okay. I was fifth. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> so I said. But actually, uh, you wanted eyes. I wanted to eye. Uh -huh. He do with specialty in eye. So the principal said. If you want to join, you are welcome. If you don't want to join, you are welcome. You can go home, right. <laughs> have your own practice. So I was, I said, Gani is a subject I didn't like at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then some of my friends and some of my professors, they said, why you want to go? You will remain here for one year. Uh, they will pay you for it. How many years did you work in the government service? I worked exactly 25 years. 25 years. Uh, okay. ah. And then I um, took my voluntary retirement. Okay. And in the meantime, you must have got married also around that time. In, huh? in those 25 years, you must have got married, you must have had children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. In the 20 years, I got married. I got married very late. Uh -huh. Very late uh, because of so many things, mm -hmm. all those things. You need not you know. Right. Uh, but then I married in, uh, my wife is from Kolkata. Okay. Uh, <coughs> and then um, before that I did my postgraduate in Kolkata. Right. Uh, and then in, in the district hospital, whatever is to be done, actually in our time there was no, not many gynecologists. Right. Uh, and especially in district hospitals, there's none. Mm -hmm. So I did my did my work in heart content. So Wonderful. how many season section I have done, I, I can't know. remember. <laughs> Even those operations which are not done today, ah. uh, because this disease is gone mm -hmm. because of um, good obstetric care Correct. and all these things. Ah. Ah. Um, um, in the, in the district and village nowadays, so the, those due to prolapse of uterus and then other things, this thing. 
But my time when I went there, the people started knowing that I do this operation. Rash of operation. Wonderful. How many hysterectomy I have done, I don't remember. <laughs> you have lost count of it. And yeah. now I am, at that time I mastered those things. Mm -hmm. By doing. Yeah, correct, uh, correct, correct. So, just a nice, but not much, I just started to get my pleasure out of serving them. Correct. So, that was the thing. Now, after I finish my day, I still tell people that if I die, when I die, mm. God, if, he, if there is any God, if He comes and asks you, hey, I want to send you back to earth. Mm. What do you want to be? Mm. I'll tell him I'll be, I want to be a doctor mm. and I have to be officer of Wonderful. Amazing. <laughs> That's so amazing. So actually you enjoyed what you're doing. Yes, I have enjoyed. And it gave you a lot of... Uh, a lot of pleasure. You were very happy doing it. I can't uh, express yeah. how, how happy I am with my you've, own... You've given birth to so many children. I mean, you've uh, delivered oh, so many children. Oh, three, three thousand. Absolutely. Somewhere some around thirty, forty thousand. Because there is no doctor. Right, right. Uh, so everything used to come to I know. us. Yes, yes. So, so were you very busy until those days? Like used to have long hours of working? Look, uh. you can, you can uh, imagine mm. that if I sleep from 9 to 6 uh. at a night, yeah. Uh, yeah. I consider myself very lucky. My God, yeah. Every night, twice, thrice, you have to go out. Daytime, no daytime, all the time emergency. No Sunday, no nothing, no cinema. I, I gave up to watching cinema because they used to call me from cinema. So, you believe me, I tell you, you have, you have um, seen Swangam Raskopos? Yes, yes, huh? yes, I have seen. Yeah. Four hours? Yes, four, four hours. hours. Yeah. I was in Norgaon. So as a surgical specialist. Ha. So because there was no gynecologist, I applied for it. Correct. And once you do gynecologist surgery, if you run, uh, you good. can do other surgeries also. Correct. So I was working as a surgical specialist. I went to my most of it was then uh, about five, six months. Mm. Or, okay. Uh, so we went to my mother's after about half an hour or 45 minutes. You got a call. Uh, we got a call. Mm. A person came uh, with a car. Inside uh, the theater? Uh, ah. From cinema to hospital. I came here, I found an railway accident case. Mm. All, everything, it is thigh severed oh. completely. Oh. Oh. So I just did an amputation course and again went there. To watch the movie. Uh, again, <laughs> this is cinema. Okay. And uh, after some time, okay. again called. <laughs> again another no. obstetric <laughs> case, meeting case. So I attended to them. So who was in the theatre? Auntie must have been there. Auntie uh, and Moshe. She, she is. Moshe is in life. I know. Yeah. Five, six months. Correct, correct, correct. Auntie, she, she enjoyed her cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Wonderful. So they have a... Then we gave up. You uh, didn't watch the movie? No, no, no. Uh, no use. I know, I know. Uh, no use. This thing happened several times. Uh. Then my wife also said, Baba Surdu. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many years did you work, Uncle? Um, your working career must have been from what, 50? Working career? Till? Till uh, 80. Wow. 80, 50, 40, 80. 25 years, I told you. Uh -huh. Right, uh. right, right, right. And enjoy my pension yeah. for the last 40 years. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. And what about your, your children, uncle? Both of them are settled. Uh, one year, your son. My, my children? Car. Yeah. You have seen one? Yes. Here? Yeah. Yes. I yeah. already on the verge of retirement. Right, right. And other one is America. I told you, my son. Correct. He is already there working more than 20 years with Walmart. Uh, is a big office there. His daughter is also working in Los Angeles, uh, okay. earning big money. Uncle, in all these years, 
is there any moment that you'd like to recall like it was a very proud moment for you or a very joyous moment for you or whatever a very a very sad moment my for you my proud moment is to go to the uh go to mumbai and beyond to bring sick and wounded uh, prisoners up to 62 uh thing Yeah, uncle. I want to uh, know your story about Bombdila also. I've heard a lot of. This is about Bombdila. Ah, you see, in in January in sixty two. Sixty two, yeah. Ah, uh, the the whole whole of ah um, all national police was affected. Correct. They came almost to the foothills. Ah. Then suddenly they gave. Okay. So I was in Tezpur, in charge of civil hospital. Okay. In there. and uh, they um, order evacuation after that they didn't didn't my heart heart was my own year oh. uh, those who want to go you may go uh, and they have shifted the police forces okay. from uh, north bank to south bank and i also had the evening jawala uh, nehru i was a ardent fan of jawala nehru Uh, you know, I will tell you when I was in Cotton College, we used to be volunteer, Congress volunteer. Correct. Jawaharlal Nehru, one day in his tour, Jawaharlal Nehru came across the river from um, North Guwahati to South Guwahati, right. Guwahati proper. Right. And we were lining up the buses. when george george and i used to be very smart people and nothing sure about him walking he really walk uh, run ah you know he walked very uh, fast you have seen that so so when passing me ah. uh, he is um, body touch my sleep oh <laughs> and uh, okay. after i went home my foot is on Put it like this, and uh, uh. I never put the shirt on because uh. it's all very interesting. So, okay. uh, at that particular level, I do say it. My heart goes to the people of Assam. Mm -hmm. Not that I am giving up people of Assam right. to Chinese. Right. Anyway, mm. so that is. So we then after that, um, Indian Rescue Society uh, sent one. a uh, retired uh, army doctor colonel alwalia mm -hmm. to test to the offered us to um, give the these uh, uh, prisoners who were sick and wounded there are 460 or something mm -hmm. so he came and uh, called the im indian medical association branch uh, so so i want some doctors to volunteer and come with me so get this thing so i i volunteered another dr arnold sharma and other musician we we three volunteered to go so one morning we are taken to the district where we see we saw the devastation we saw our dead soldiers Lying in the gutters, yeah, yeah, yeah. we saw tanks, we saw cars, everything. This was the Chinese aggression. Aggression, mm -hmm. and we went to Mumbai. Stayed the night was there. Okay. Next morning we went there to Dirang, uh, got this thing here, and then came back. I was putting because I was a surgical person. Uh, I was putting charge of the um, about. Uh, Twelve or fifteen uh, people who were in Shelan and seriously wounded, but at the whole night we came. There, there is no road there, right. just something. So uh, in morning I reached and gave all them alive to the military hospital. That was a proud moment for me Wonderful. that I could. come to help to for my country exactly yeah. so, yes. uncle you have an amazing memory 
Uh, at this age, so uh, what is your secret for keeping fit and yeah, what, I don't know. Do I don't know. Youngsters? God's blessing. Yeah. That's not great. Yeah. That can't be a secret. Secret uh, for this. Yes, a disciplined life, I guess. Disciplined life, yeah. because of course, disciplined, uh, very disciplined. Actually, no time to indulge. Uncle, nowadays at this age, what do you? What is your typical day like? What time do you get up? And what do you? What are your activities nowadays? I generally get up at 5:36. Ah. Right. Right. Here, there's nothing to do. Correct. So I do some jogging exercises in the morning. Wonderful. Ah. Ah. Jogging exercise, and then since I cannot go out for work, right. for for last two years, mm -hmm. I cannot go out. If I go, I have to have somebody else. Yes. So whom to bother? Mm -hmm. So I walk this distance. Uh -huh. For about 20, 30 minutes, right. from the gate to the other things. Correct. 20, 30 minutes of work. So I think that is enough. Hey, going out, out is something else. Uh, well, since you can't do it, uh, if you don't have honey, take some goose That's or the soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's always an alternative. Uh, There's always an alternative. You know, so that's how to do. And, then after taking tea and all these things, see the news and all, see the, go to the papers. Yeah. They, have, they keep about four papers. Yeah, yeah. So go through all the papers, yes. starting from advertisement to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, you have so many books behind you. I believe you're a voracious reader. Yeah, you mean, it is not my books. It's what I read. Yeah. I told you I have almost, almost 90% books I have read. Some of them several times. <laughs> those who those who I like. Right, right. right. Uh, okay. Actually, my wife scolds me. Ah. me. Uh, only time I'm reading, reading, reading. What to do? I know what to do. <laughs> what to do? Okay. Well, it's good, Uncle, that uh, even though you're so senior, but you keep your mind active by reading so many books, mm. doing yoga exercises, reading the newspaper, as you said. So that keeps your mind active, also, I guess. If huh? you're not doing anything then your mind wouldn't be that active. But because you're reading books, you're doing yoga and exercise, it keeps your mind active. And your yeah, active yeah, yeah. Keeps my mind active. And then talk, talk. Okay. Of course, there is nobody to talk to now. Uh, I mean, only wife, so busy. wife is all the time with me. So we, sometimes we talk about our see, old days. past old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past old days, man. Right. Young age. <laughs> <laughs> the old young days. Correct, correct, correct. I'm sure you have so many stories about that also. Yes, know. yes, yes. So many stories. Right exactly. there. Uh, have story, how can you say everybody has, every has, a, has a particular Everyone story? Everyone has a particular story. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes life more interesting. Yeah. That uh, I do no, a but lot of... Uh, as, a, as, a, as a partner, my wife is wonderful. It is wonderful. She takes care of me, care of me very nicely. Wonderful. So are my children. Right. Mommy is absolutely uh, uh, about my food and everything. Right. What I do. Right. If I work less, and you said you didn't work today. <laughs> I said I did. <laughs> so and it's so, it's, it's, I mean, you're so lucky to have such wonderful children and a wonderful, oh, yes, and a wonderful yes. family. If you, if you yeah. want to have a daughter, yeah. have a daughter like mine. Wonderful, uh, wonderful. If you want to have a son, have <laughs> yeah. a son like mine. Not only that, yeah. my gadgets are also so wonderful. Right, right. They are very much attached to me. Wonderful. Uh, like, talk, are they here with you in Delhi? Yes, they are his two sons. Yeah. Not here, yeah. one younger, and the elder one is here. Uh -huh. But this fellow works all the day. Okay. He, he goes to the uh, office. He's a lawyer. Okay. He works on a farm. Comes back right night. What time I don't know. Sometimes he will come at 5:36. Sometimes he will um, come at 10:30. According to his work. Correct. So so. And the other one is in college. Second time. And my my grandchildren from my son's side, they are also very interested. Wonderful. Generally, they, they they come here once a year, 
My son also comes once a year, and uh, my grandchildren also come once a year. They will definitely come, one stay day. with us. That's all. Don't go there. Anyway, stay with us. And spend a lot of time with you. Yeah. And I'm sure they must be loving. They must be loving to listen to you. Yes, yes. So many things, yeah. and then they will remind, yeah. remind us, yeah. remind me. Uh, tell me about that. That story. This story. Uh, that story. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much, Uncle. It's been an absolute thank pleasure you talking to you. Wish you lots and lots and lots of good health. May you yes, live you. as thank long you. as you can with good health, good memory, <laughs> and uh, may God bless you with everything that you do. Thank you.